I'm Liz Williams. I'm Kate Lomas, and together what we've done is we've co-founded Hemadina, which is a startup company, and um, we're developing an in-ear hearing device to replace the external components of cochlear implant. All I've ever wanted to do as a child was wildlife photography. So I, I went and lived in Canada, and I, I was working on my portfolio, and then I fell in love with the whole concept of animal behaviour. And so I ended up quitting my job and going back to university full time and I did a biology degree. I spent a number of years working with insect hearing systems. I chose the Weta, which is a, a large sort of cricket looking insect. And just through working with that insect, I discovered that they have this really amazing hearing system. It's 80 million years, pretty much unchanged and they hear exactly the same frequency range as what we do. We've taken their technology and um, put it into our own medical device to develop this system. Currently, the cocker implant has external components and internal components, and it means it's quite lifestyle restricting with the external components um, because you can't sleep, swim, bathe, do contact sports with them in place. So what we're doing is making a fully internalised cocker implant so you don't have those restrictions anymore. And we're also going to improve the sound quality through Kate's invention and expertise in acoustics. I started life as an artist. A lot of people said to me, how on earth did you go across to science? But to me it was such an, an organic move because science is really creative. And a, a, lot, a lot of people don't realise that. In fact, I think a lot of scientists don't realise that how looking at it from a really creative point of view, it's not boring, it's exciting, it's creative and fun. We can't believe what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, we sort of have to look at ourselves sometimes and go, wow, do, do we just achieve that? It's that excitement of knowing that your, your skills in science can be used to solve real world problems. It gets you up every morning being like, we could completely change this problem for someone.